Senator Curtis Conway, Daniel Jeremiah, is you find diamonds in the rough. Guys like Walter Payton. Now, you can't guarantee those diamonds in the rough are going to Canton, Ohio, right? right? <laughs> but you can guarantee that if you get a couple of them, you build a great foundation. Give me a couple this year, DJ. Well, this is one of the favorite things when you're a scout is to find those guys at small schools. And to me, Central Arkansas wide receiver Desmond Lewis, guys, he's got the size you look for. He can really get down the field. We saw him at an all-star game, saw what he could do there. He showed up well. You want to see when they get a chance to step up in competition, can they handle it? And he did right here. The only adjustment he's going to have, other than jumping up and competition is not playing on that gray and purple field that you're looking at right there, fellas. I like the two-tone thing. And as scouts, you love this, too, because, hey, I found this guy. No not question. as if no one had ever seen Desmond Lewis play. Th there's story after story. I mean, I can remember going to watch Michael Roos play up at Eastern Washington, and you go, okay, he doesn't belong here. I mean, there, there's one every single year. There's multiple guys. It's one of the most fun things about the job. And you could walk in, yeah. Curtis, and say, hey, look what I found, right? Mm. Give me a guy that you Dust think could be. Exactly. <laughs> Dust off a diamond for me, Dust please. Dust it off. Here it is. Same color uniforms, same position, a little shorter. I'm going Tyler Lockett out of Kansas State, guys. When you look at this guy and his body of work, from the time he stepped on campus, he was making plays. He was mainly a return guy. He had four kickoff returns in his career, two punt returns. But once he stepped over and took over that receiving job, it was all him. His junior year, 81 balls, 1,200 yards. And you would think coming back the next year, he's the circle guy. We got to slow him down. His numbers only improved. Caught over 100 balls, 1,500 yards. He ran 4-4. And DJ, I always tell you this. It's a little different when you see 4-4 and 4-3-8. But trust me, that 4-4, he plays 4-4. He can play inside. He can play outside. He can be your return guy. I think he's going to be that diamond in the rough this year. And NFL bloodlines help, don't they? No yes. question. But see, Curtis went to USC. So Kansas State <laughs> is considered like a diamond in the rough out of nowhere school, okay? I went to Appalachian State, so I go to Central Arkansas. And can, I get a, can I get a bonus? Please, get, get a bonus. I'm going to go Illinois State tight end James O'Shaughnessy. We don't even have tape of James O'Shaughnessy, you, I'm telling you, this is one of those guys where the name came across. I'm like, okay, I'll pop him in. Zero expectations. And he's flying down the field, making catches down the seam. Then I watched him cover kicks in the national championship game, the artist formerly known as 1AA. Mm -hmm. And he's making all kinds of plays in that game as well. He's somebody I believe is going to get drafted that fifth, sixth round. Keep an eye on I, And you're not kidding about the buzz, by the way. James O'Shaughnessy is getting serious buzz. No and question. as for USC, no school in the last 10 years has had more players drafted than USC with 69. So USC, right? Yes. And USC. They, they just needed, I thought so. They needed, I thought all, so. they needed all of them against Arizona State to so. knock down the Hail Mary. This guy right here. <laughs> this, this thing happens every day. Let's, let's get away from that and offer some advice now. Make the right call presented by Dan and Oikos, triple zero. We'll welcome back our good friend, Charles Davis. Diamond of the rough here, Charles Davis. What do you got? Well, I know we're not talking about potential Hall of Famers, but let's go to the University of Cincinnati a linebacker that we saw at the Senior Bowl named Jeff Luke, who caused collisions each and every day, brought his pads with him, and some really good athleticism for a linebacker. Well, I'm projecting that he moves to fullback in the NFL, a la Bruce Miller, who came out of the University of Central Florida, UCF, as an All-American defensive end and has made the transition to fullback. There's still a place for fullbacks in this league. Jeff Luke can make that transition. He'll be a terrific lead blocker and has better athleticism than you think and will be able to catch the football. And if he could wear that Bane mask as well, I'm sure you'd probably <laughs> well, scare people. You know, people. Marshawn's wearing one, right. so it's popular with everyone now. Do I get a bonus guy or are we moving on here? You know what, Charles, you asked, we abide. Here, bonus. All go right, for I it. appreciate that. Okay, if we want to go diamond and rough, and the artist formerly known as 1AA, the team that's dominated it for four years now and beat Kansas State two years ago, North Dakota State. Kyle Emanuel, defensive end. I think he'll convert to outside linebacker in the NFL. Watching him on tape, I was really impressed by how he took care of gaps very well, had a great sense of space on the field, could convert power to, I mean, speed to power on his pass rush, could drop out in the zone blitz and cover people, and was just absolutely relentless in how he played. I really like Kyle Emanuel. And if we're going to talk about the best of 1AA or the FCS, let's talk about the best team who's won it four straight years. Kyle Emanuel, he played against Mr. O'Shaughnessy in that national championship game. And remember, we're bringing you diamonds, not cubic zirconias. We would never sell you the fake stuff. Thank you, Charles.